Hey, what is going on everyone? Um, I hope y'all have been well. Seems like it's been a very, very long, very cold winter. And I am just now awaking from my slumber, <laughs> as in hibernation. But um, I'm looking to get back into the swing of things. Got some cool stuff planned. Got a rockfish opener trip. Got a mammoth kayak uh, fishing camping trip in June. And as per usual, I tried to get um, as many people as I can involved to share the experience. So let me outline my first invitation, which is going to be the rockfish opener. Um, if you don't know, in SoCal, the rockfish season begins March 1st. And so I can take one person out with us. And from experience, I kind of feel like taking one person or two people and devoting a lot of attention to them is much better than trying to take like six, seven, eight people out and it just being kind of like a frazzled kind of experience for everyone. Okay. So um, I guess the way I'm going to do this is uh, for this video, drop a comment down below uh, on what you think that Tesla stock price is going to be on Tuesday. And I guess the cutoff is going to be Tuesday after the market close. Person closest to that actual stock price gets to uh, come with us. I should, I should uh, make this very explicit. This trip is not going to be for everyone. And it's kind of hard to describe uh, the kind of person that might be right for this trip because there's no one set of uh, traits or any kind of prescription that describes possibly the right person. And so uh, I would say that even if you have fished for, I don't know, kayak fished for like three years, but if you haven't ventured outside and put in big miles, then probably not the right trip for you. On the other side of the coin, if you are some kind of baseline athlete, maybe you're a runner, maybe you're a bicyclist, and you're an active person, and but you've never kayak fished, you could absolutely have a blast. So um, there's going to be that kind of like, I don't want to say screening process, but that has to be done to make sure that, that no one has a bad experience, okay? So first of all, it's going to be a Friday trip. So it will not be a Saturday or Sunday trip, so it's going to be a Friday trip. So that may kind of nix the trip for a bunch of people. Um, secondly, I don't aspire to be anyone's guide. Um, I'm not going to hold you if you get cold. I'm not going to feed you if you get hungry. I'm not going to paddle or pedal for you if you get tired. Uh, unless you're a supermodel, and in which case I am at your beck and call. Um, will I put you on fish? Yeah. I cannot imagine a situation where I won't put you on fish. Will you catch fish? And that is hard to say. That's hard to say because that more or less depends on a bunch of factors, right? It could be timing. It could be luck. It could be your toolbox. It could be your skill set. Um, and you're going to be in and amongst, it could be like six, seven, eight people who are pretty gung-ho about uh, catching fish. I'm not claiming that any of us are super duper fishermen, but they are a uh, big time run and gun, you know, spread offense type of fishermen. This is not the kind of trip where we park our boats a quarter mile off the mouth of the harbor and so bait for four or five hours. No, this is the kind of trip where, let me, okay, uh, we'll launch out of King Harbor and we'll put in big miles. So we're going to do a giant kind of a loop. Um, we're probably going to work the southern edge of the canyon wall for miles. And then we'll turn in, uh, meet up with a with an old buddy of mine near Palos Verdes, and then work the kelp, kelp line for um, other species. So all told, you could be looking at 15 miles, and you could be looking at 12 hours on the water. So clearly, this is not a trip that is for everyone. Okay. A lot will depend on, wow, I'm doing this like <laughs> without any kind of script, so not bad. Um, so a lot is going to depend on oceanic conditions. So we're going to forecast ahead to Friday the 5th. That'll be the date of the trip. And um, so far, it's looking okay. Um, winds are going to be the, the most, um, is going to be the biggest factor. We need the winds to kind of, you know, be calm. 
I was bicycling last weekend into a 40 mile per hour Santa Ana headwind. That was horrific. And, and that's on a bicycle, right? And I was thinking, my goodness, if anyone is on the water <laughs> while this is happening, they're in, they're in the world of hurt. Okay, so anyways, uh, oceanic conditions are going to play a big role. It's going to be a Friday trip. So again, um, drop a comment on this video. And let me know what you think Tesla is going to close that on, on Tuesday, and then we'll, we'll pick someone out. A uh, couple of interesting things for this year. There have been some regulation tweaks. So this year, I think you can only keep five vermilion rockfish. And that, okay, the vermilion is the red rockfish. Um, and if you don't know, you should probably Google it to make sure that you don't get caught unawares. And then apparently, we can now fish up to 600 feet. Um, I guess last year, I fished up to like 450 I mean, they can say 600 or 800, but practically speaking, um, dropping something down to four, five, 600 feet, it, it could be a real long and arduous journey. Um, so anyway, we might play around with that. But again, um, this could be a pretty good trip for the right person. You know, three years ago, I would have killed for an opportunity like this, but um, yeah, so we'll pick someone out. Have you come with us and hopefully you will have a great time okay uh bye for now and look for more videos coming down the pike um i probably have like three four more in the next month or so okay bye for now